Okay, so this is going to be a little tutorial on the TI-89 Titanium. Uh, first, to turn it on, just press the on button. Your calculator will normally open to this app screen. All the apps show as icons. This is sort of like your desktop. So you can either hover over the home and press enter or just press home, the button. So once you get here, uh, this is really where you'll do most of your computing. You can enter numbers like 7 divided by 8 or you know basic things. You'll notice that when you enter your second calculation the last one will just be moved up in the stack and it will hold up to 30 so you can just scroll back up and if I wanted to manipulate say this right here I just highlight it and press enter and it will show up in your entry box down here so that I can make some different some different change to it and that will show up so that's some basic things it'll show whether it's in radian or degrees right here you have basic um, trigonometric functions so you know it's calculating in radians so you'll want to enter in radians and when you do You'll notice that it's in pretty print format right here. That's why it shows it as a fraction, um, drawn the way you would would draw it on paper. You can change whether pretty print is on just by going to mode, scrolling down to pretty print, going over here and saying off. But I probably wouldn't do that. Just leave it the way it is. Um, some other things that you probably should know how to do on here. Um, there's a lot of algebra functions here. You want to take a look at the syntax for entering things here. That's probably the most important thing to understand. Um, differentiate. These are just basic functions. They'll differentiate functions, integrate, limit, sum, um, Taylor series. If you want to solve a differential equation, scroll down to D solve press enter. Now when you enter something on here it's going to want a certain syntax so I'm going to show you what that is. So y prime, this is just the problem that I decided to work here. So y prime minus xy is equal to zero. Now this is the differential equation I want to solve but I have an initial condition that y of 0 is 1 so I go to catalog scroll down to and so then I'll just give it that initial condition y of 0 is equal to 1 and then I'm just going to let it know that there are two independent variables here x and y hit enter and it will solve your differential equation for you right here and uh, that's pretty much how that works solving second order differential equations is pretty much the same you'll just have a second initial condition and a second and you put in the TI-89 can also graph in 3D uh, you have to make sure you're in 3D graphing mode not function, parametric, polar, you know, there's a lot of different options, so make sure you're in 3D. Uh, hit enter, save the changes. Go over to your y equals editor, and it will want your function to be in, ter in terms of x and y. So, I'm going to enter something here. Do x cubed times y minus y cubed times x all of this divided by 390 and hit enter you'll write it here and you'll be able to check if that's what you wanted to enter you can see it in the pretty print format here and then to graph hit the um, the green key here and F3 and it will say it's calculating this it 
takes a little bit of time to calculate it actually. You just have to be patient and it's kind of slow about it. And then you can um, actually rotate the graph in real time. It's kind of slow, but you can do it. Um, you know, get a view of this. You can trace it as well, uh, but it's also kind of slow about that. If you want to trace, you know, press F3. You can go around it. It's going to give you your X, Y, and Z coordinates. So, kind of go like that. Um, let's see, other things. It can also, like I was saying, compute sums. So, let's go over to home. I'll clear this out. Let's go look for sum. You can also, instead of scrolling through, just press the, the number corresponding to it. So, 4. And I was going to do something simple here. Sum 1 uh, uh, for x. And we're going to let x go between 0 and infinity. Close that out. And you see, this is the format you need to do it in. Yeah, I wouldn't have to have a constant there. I could put anything I wanted there. But then um, just your index variable, and then what your index goes to. 0 to infinity in this case. And it evaluates it and tells me that it's infinity, so it diverges. So helpful to get there. You can also calculate limits. You do limit x to the 3 halves. And again, I'm just choosing this problem. You wouldn't have to do it this way. Natural log x. Divided by x squared plus 1. Um, our variable here is x, and we're going to let x go to infinity, and it computes the limit and tells me that it's 0, which is correct as far as I know. So uh, maybe lastly I'll go over Taylor, se Taylor series, um, just scroll over the um, calculus menu here go up to Taylor series, that's number 9. And here it's going to want some expression, a variable, the order, and a certain point. So, I'm just going to give you an idea of how to do this. So I'm doing e to the t, that's my expression. My variable is of course t. I'm going to do this to be fourth order. And now use the straight line bracket here before you put a point and um, say t is equal to whatever point I want this at. And I'm going to do it for square root of x. And the square root key is right over the time symbol. So go over here and x. And after I give it all the information, press enter and it computes the Taylor series. So pretty easy to use. Uh, and you, again, you can scroll back up, get back to any of your expressions. So that's just a quick rundown on the TI-89.